Packaging Production, Printing and Converting. We're back in Hall 8A to talk to some exhibitors and see what they have to offer. We're here in Hall 8A at Carlisle Packaging with William. William, what can you tell us? What, do you, what products have you got here for Interpack 2023? Thank you for coming by to see us. This is uh, the Carvel Packaging Division here represented. And we have some new things we are very happy to, to show. And at this uh, fifth day of the show already, we've had very good success with the machine behind us, which is an innovation for filling pouches mm -hmm. through the open part of the pouch. Mm -hmm. Small footprint uh, machine, easy to access, mm -hmm. very open machine, very clean machine for the floor and it's flexible so that we can use it with many, many different types of products. Mm, oh, great. So Interpack is about innovation, it's about highlights. Do you have anything here on the stand that you'd like to highlight, that you'd like to talk about uh, for Interpack 2023? Yeah, I think we definitely need to talk about the innovations that we have and particularly with this machine again here. Mm -hmm. Easy operator access okay. compared mm -hmm. to other machines mm -hmm. in this mm -hmm. particular category. They have a lot of motors that are underneath the machine, mm -hmm. bigger footprint machine. Here we have a machine for operator access on one side only mm -hmm. that enables us to do a wide range of products that you can see here with different sizes and shapes of pouches. Mm -hmm. And I think one thing that uh, many people are interested in today is sustainability. Right. So for sustainability, we have uh, some paper based, we have some mono material pouches that can be used on this machine. Great. So we have to talk about it. We saw a sign on one of the machines that said sold. How's the trade fair going for you? Uh, the trade fair has been going very well for us. We've had a lot of visitors, a lot of interest for this machine. The other machine over there is another type of pouch filling. And actually we sold the other machine at the back as well. So it's been very, very good show for us. We're pleased to have such a great location <laughs> and, uh, okay. and everything's been going very well. Thank you. Wonderful. Well, thank you very much. Carville Packaging, Hall 8A. We're here with Joachim from AISA. Joachim, can you tell us about some of your products that you brought with you today uh, at Interpack 2023? Yes, of course. We are very happy to be here. And uh, on this particular event, we decided to go wild. <laughs> this was the idea, of course, to, to add something a little bit more fun to mm -hmm. the whole uh, theme of uh, sustainability. Mm -hmm. Very nice. So Interpack is about innovation. It's about new products. What have you had? What did you bring with you? What can you show us or tell us? Yes, our special innovation that we that we present here mm -hmm. is a tube made out of uh, paperboard, yeah, okay. and uh, we did this together with a couple of uh, partners, uh, mm -hmm. which all exhibit here at Interpack, mm -hmm. and. Um, this is basically our highlight and to make it a little fun so we have the pink elephant yeah very nice now we mentioned the topic sustainability can you talk a little bit more about that and maybe what aisa does uh, as far as sustainability goes yeah we showcase here two of our main activities one is packaging development uh, where we put a lot of effort now of course in making tube packaging more sustainable mm -hmm. And we show different examples here from recycling to use recycled content to all the way to using paper instead of plastic uh, in, in this particular case. And the second activity we have is what you see more of over there, mm -hmm. which is our machine division because we are the largest uh, tu tube machine producer in the world. Yeah. So our customers buy our machines and mm -hmm. produce packaging with it. Now, one of the draws of a, a show like Interpack is the fact that people can see machines live and in person. How important is it for you as a company to have your machine here so that visitors, potential clients can see it in action? Yeah, it's absolutely key. Uh, on most of the shows, uh, people come to see uh, equipment and we are machine builders. So the Interpack is an important show for us. But it's also an important show because uh, we can show some packaging yeah. and then of course we get exposure to uh, packaging engineers and people that use uh, the package that is produced on our machines today and potentially in the future mm -hmm. because yeah. things never stand still and innovation is a big part of our business. Right. Wonderful. Well, here at AISA we have products, we have machines and we got it all. Thank you for your time, Joachim. Thank great. you for coming.
I'm here with Ingrid from Graphic Packaging International. Uh, Ingrid, you've got a lot of stuff here uh, to show at your stand. What are some of the highlights? So, all in all, we are focusing on the fiber-based packaging, mm -hmm. uh, which means anything that is made out of paperboard or paper, maybe as well. For sure that is meeting the new interest or the, the continuous interest in sustainable packaging. Mm -hmm. But we are actually highlighting the examples that can be used today. Mm -hmm. So they are kind of ready to go for, not the ones that you aim for in five years, but rather that you can impl impl mm -hmm. uh, implement right now. Okay. So do you have any particular innovations that you're showing at Interpack yes, 2023? We do as well, because we do have one area, which is the innovation area, where mm -hmm. we do highlight specific innovation projects that we believe are really the ones that should be implemented, ready to go, but still with great interest to meet the needs of, of uh, any customer. Basically. Now, you said it yourself earlier, but we've been hearing it a lot lately, sustainability. Yeah. What does it mean to you? Why is it so important? Hey, it's the future of the world, isn't it, in the total <laughs> perspective? So, for sure, that is interesting. I mean, it's important for everyone. We just want to be a contributor to, to making uh, the step-by-step -step change into mm -hmm. a more circular society. Great. Now you said you're the company's based in Atlanta with worldwide operations. Yeah. That's a far way to come for you and a lot of your colleagues. What is it about Interpac that makes it important enough for you to come? I'd say this is a global uh, trade show, huh? So, I mean, we work on a global market, so it's mm -hmm. nothing strange in, in that sense. And also we do have a very strong uh, base in Europe. Mm -hmm. if, like I said, 100 plants or plus in total. 40 in, uh, mm -hmm. in Europe, uh, so it's, it's a, a very important market for us. But I would say, I mean, the show is global. We had lots of intercontinental visitors over mm -hmm. the weekend as well, so mm -hmm. truly. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. Well, thank you for your time. You got a lot of great products and we wish you success here at Interpac 2023. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was Hall 8A, packaging production, printing, and converting. There's a lot to see here, so don't miss out.